You're listening to the NFL Draft Bible Podcast Network, part of Sports Illustrated, giving you daily NFL Draft, Dynasty, and Debbie Fantasy Football Podcasts. Class is in session. Welcome into the draft seminar presented by Sports Illustrated's NFL Draft Bible Podcast Network. I'm your host, Matt Hicks, the FF educator, joined by John Lobb, the gridiron scholar. And we are breaking down Javante Williams' fantasy football rookie profile. John, Javante Williams, a really energetic name right now amongst the draft. <laughs> Community, so I'm definitely excited to dig into him. How are you feeling about Javante? Matt, he has risen up my board more than any other ball carrier throughout this season. He is currently my number two running back on the board. Ooh. This young man is exciting, and I can't wait to have the opportunity to draft him in my fantasy and dynasty leagues. I began the season studying in analyzing the North Carolina passing attack. But as the year developed, their running game behind Javonta Williams began to pop on film. And I have to give Mac Brown a ton of credit. He has re-energized this Tar Heels offense. They were stupendous. And there's so much talent at the skill positions led by Williams. In high school, he was the 93rd player in North Carolina by 24-7 sports. And he was only a three-star prospect. So he was not on the immediate radar like other freshmen coming onto campus. But he had over 2,200 yards rushing and 27 touchdowns as a senior in high school. And he led the team to a state championship. As a true freshman at North Carolina, he appeared in 11 games in 2018 as a running back, and as a special teams contributor. He had 51 touches for 282 yards from scrimmage and five touchdowns. In 2019, I think he was overlooked by NFL scouts and college fantasy football fans like myself. He had 933 yards rushing, and he had 17 catches for 176 yards and six touchdowns. But last summer, Williams was not getting a lot of discussion or media time, or even time by scouts, myself included. But this year, he smashed Matt. All ACC second team with 1,140 rushing yards and 19 touchdowns. He also snatched 25 passes for 305 yards and three touchdowns. What did your film say, Matt, when you watched Williams? John, let's go ahead and look at that and and break down his film traits. And when you start with Javante Williams, you have to start with the strength because he is a powerful runner, as you alluded to here. He absorbs contact really well. He stays on his feet even when the tackles are bringing him down low. He's not ever afraid to put his head down and hit the hole. He's always fighting forward, John. He has big man strength. He's running over (laughs) These linebackers, man, you almost feel bad for some of these linebackers that have to take on Javante Williams because he is an absolute monster when it comes to that. Now, he's quick off the line of scrimmage. He's explosive. So I give him a 90 in my strength score. And then the rest of his scores, I feel like against consensus, I'm a little bit lower on Javante Williams. And that doesn't mean I don't love him. But in terms of his explosiveness, another good score here, 81. I give him a solid burst off the line of scrimmage. I think he starts and stops pretty well. I think he can get to the second level quickly at times. Doesn't always come off the line of scrimmage super fast. Now, a big bump for him when it comes to the translation on the NFL side is going to be his pass pro, John. He's a good pass blocker. He picks up on his assignments well, and he's able to be uh, reliable whether he's picking up on blitzes. He keeps a good uh, center of gravity, and he has good uh, range there when it comes to pass blocking. So he's reliable, and that matters to the NFL. It might not be... Super exciting for fantasy football, but it gets you on the field. And he also has good hands when he was asked to, John. He has consistent hands. He was a a consistent target in the flat. Didn't drop the ball at all in the tape reviews that I watched, catching the ball in the flat. And he even had some good 
off-target catches, uh, specifically if you're watching the Miami game. So there's a lot of upside with Javante Williams and his film. I have his current projection as a weekly starter for fantasy football. You ready to dig into the film here, John? Oh, absolutely, my friend. All right, well, let's go ahead and jump into it here with the Javante Williams film, and we're going to start against Duke, and we're going to see that ability to kick it into gear and hit the second level right off the bat. And look at him shake that defender. We talked about you can't – it doesn't matter if you go low on Javante Williams. He still shakes off that Duke defender. 5'10", 220 pounds. He has incredible contact balance. Oh, my gosh. John, oh. he just demolished that Duke linebacker for a, for a defensive back. I'm sorry, for a 30-yard touchdown run. Look at the contact balance, John. Look at that contact balance. That's what you're going to see consistently here, whether it's against Virginia Tech, Duke, whatever game film you're watching – and by the way, all of our game film was provided by Brandon Lejeune at Devi Deep Dive on YouTube and Twitter. Look at this. He sees the outside and he gets to the corner and he still is putting his head and shoulders down near the sideline. Oh, he has good, very underrated vision, but the contact balance and the strength map. And he does run away from people. I don't think he has top end speed, but he's got plenty of speed to gain chunks of yards. Yeah, he's quick enough to consistently get to the edge here. We're seeing that against this Florida State uh, uh, defense especially. He's able to get to the edge. Now, the vision, I think, is inconsistent, but you're right. At times, John, he gets you hooked in with what he shows you. Yes, and look at that lateral agility to get to the edge. Oh, that was nice, right in look the this middle. Clean. Let's slow this down. Let's slow this down. Look at this clean sidestep and Ooh. get to the edge. That's what he knows what he's good at, right? He's not always going to try to burn you in a straight line, but if he can beat you to the edge against slower linebackers, he's going to take advantage of you. Oh, absolutely. He is going to be a problem one-on-one. -on -one. And see, see his ability to catch this ball here in the flat against Duke, exactly what I was referring to. That ball was a little off target. He sees it in, he catches it, and he makes a couple yards on that play. Absolutely. Yeah, his pass catching ability is very underrated. He can be a three down back immediately in the NFL. He adjusts to this ball against Florida State very well. There's a lot to like, John, about what Javante Williams puts on tape. But what does his production profile show for you? I was very impressed with this 2020 season looking at the numbers, Matt. He had 1,445 yards from scrimmage. But what is really fascinating, because we have to put numbers in context, he had scrimmage yards dominator of 22%. And this is a player who shared the backfield with Michael Carter and had a first-round draft pick in Sam Howell, a quarterback, and two very good receivers in Daz Newsom and Demai Brown. So this young man to get a 22% scrimmage yards dominator is incredibly impressive. And I mentioned it before, 5'10 and 220 pounds. You can make the argument that he is the best contact balance in this class. I, because he's a one-cut runner with quick feet. I think you can play him in a zone or a gap scheme. I'm very high on Javonta Williams, my friend. And, John, you are certainly not the only one. He's going to be a very popular name throughout the fantasy football draft season, so we appreciate you listening in here to our rookie profile of him. Go ahead and share this. It doesn't have to be with your league mates, maybe the rest of your friends, so they can get the scoop here on Vontae Williams as well. If you are not subscribed yet, please go ahead and do that. Whether you're watching on YouTube or listening on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, we would really appreciate on Apple Podcasts that five-star review and on YouTube, if you're watching, go ahead and give us the thumbs up. We appreciate you listening to this episode of the NFL Draft Bible Podcast Network's Rookie Profile Series.